seen is uh, medical models that are basically uh, being printed out of uh, patient-specific scans. The simulation experts would segment out the interesting structures and use it for anything from uh, visual appreciation, for uh, medical education, all the way through actual uh, procedural simulation. So you'd be able to see some specific structures to be able to do device deployment on cardiovascular uh, structures or either bone cutting guides, ENT models for pituitary approach uh, tumor removal, and all the way through to bone uh, structures for pedicle screw and pinning and cutting. This enables the physicians to actually use their patient-specific scans in the, before they're, uh, they're going into the OR uh, with the ability to have the confidence that they're going to meet the same thing on the OR table. So what we're seeing is that the printer works in a very similar manner to a 2D printer. There are eight printing heads that are inkjet printing heads that would deposit a, a liquid photopolymer. The UV lights are ser serve as an energy source to cure the material so it's ready to be used as soon as it's printed. After every pass of the head, the table goes inside just 16 microns, so the layer resolution is very, very good. Uh, there is an ability to mix materials together on the fly, so to get those different materials or those di different flexibility in colors, you'd be able to mix different materials. This specific machine would take three materials at the same time. The top of the line machine would take up to six materials at the same time, which enables, uh, enables to either do full color or use transparent and opaque materials at the same time. Mm -hmm.